Hello, this is Peter Newman. I'm a member on the ANSYS Learning Forum, and there's a discussion under the pre-processing category about a mesh failed, and that's because the geometry has some issues, and the normal methods of um, meshing and can't cope with the complexity of this geometry. So I've opened it in space claim. Uh, I see there's two rings, which I'll hide, this ring and that ring, and then there's the main body and then tiny little surface, which uh, I think is just shouldn't even be there. I'll delete that. But on the main body, uh, as we look carefully at what it has, there is some uh, very complicated uh, pieces of geometry that make it difficult to mesh. And that's little step faces like this. And uh, there's probably an undercut there. So um, it's not clean geometry. And we want to remove all these small faces. So there's a method I can recommend where that face is picked with the select tool and then control C, control V creates that surface which can be manipulated. Uh, double clicking on the boundary allows you to use the pull tool and make that surface a little bigger than it was. Now when we turn that body back on and we pick that surface to thicken into a solid body from a surface to a solid, it's going to merge with the solid that's next to it. So if we just pull it up, say uh, 1.6 uh, millimeters, we just lost the surface, it merged in, but we also consumed all that little step. And so now we should be able to uh, go back and select this face with the pull tool and pull it back to the original dimension of 451 or 450. And so we've just cleaned up a whole lot of nasty edges. So uh, we can try that again on another um, piece. And this one has some, some really nasty pieces of geometry. Look at all this. Uh, it's really a bad mess. And we'll see if that same method will work on this face here. So we'll pick that face, which is a 450 radius. We'll do Control C, Control V. So we've made a copy of that. And if we turn off this surface and we uh, double click on an edge, it doesn't go all the way around. So we'll have to uh, double click on some more edges. And hopefully that is a complete boundary. And we can now pull that to a larger extent to consume uh, faces so that when we're um, pulling that surface up, we will merge the new thickness of say uh, just up to two millimeters. So now we're consumed the surface, but we've also consumed all those nasty surfaces and we can uh, pull it back down to the 450. And we've got clean surfaces. So that is a technique for cleaning things up. And there's another one over here. Uh, we're four minutes into the video, so I'll attempt one more. Um, then I'll point out some other questions that uh, is a problem, and that is uh, we'll pick this face, Control C, Control V, and there's a surface, so we'll hide that. We'll uh, double click and double click down here to get the full, use the pull tool to enlarge this, and then we'll turn that solid back on, and we want to go up a couple of millimeters with the pull tool. So up uh, two millimeters, 2.5 say, and we've merged 
and now we'll go down with the pull tool to 452 and uh, couldn't make that so there, there's other issues here and I think those other issues have to do with this face here being connected underneath this and there's this tiny face here and uh, why is there a gap under there is that intentional uh, I don't think so I think that's a mistake and so uh, maybe this whole surface has to be pulled up um, to a larger value if it can be uh, pulled up to 452 and uh, we, we can't but um, this is indicative of the kind of geometry problems that need to be repaired before this will mesh. And uh, one, one method might be to slice away um, this at the 450 setting. Yeah, we, we pulled it up, can't pull it down. So there's always undo, control Z. Uh, we're back to 450. So um, if we control C, control V, we get a surface. And now this surface, we can um, delete the holes in the surface and uh, use this to slice through. So we would pick all the, all the gaps, delete them, and then we would pull the edges out um, by a lot so that we have something to cut through the entire piece of geometry in a split body operation. We can split that body with this face and now we're done. We can uh, hide this surface uh, for now and what we have is a clean inside body so this will mesh with no problems at all, as will the two rings. And we have these two pieces, uh, which have all of these, uh, like this has these cavities underneath. And so I would need to know if those cavities are intentional or not. And um, yeah, what's going on with those? Uh, this 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 is now where uh, on this thing it's a, a hole maybe now that it's split we can go back to the select tool and we can pull we can pull that through uh, maybe we can't pull it through yet a little more work may need to be done but uh, we can we could uh, cut a hole there or when we fix the rest of it um, get it back so that uh, that's probably a good place to um, we could bring this into meshing and see if it will mesh now and we will uh, just turn off the we'll set we will set these three pieces to suppress for physics and we will take these into share topology and it will imprint uh, all the faces that are touching and it will leave a deliberate gap under here which maybe is a accurate representation um, but with all that done i think as we take this into meshing it will have a good chance of uh, successfully meshing so let's find out I'll pause the video while we get into meshing. So he, I actually went back and undid the share topology section in space claim and brought in three bodies without uh, shared topology and meshed them with a element size of 10. And two of the three bodies, uh, I, I didn't bother bringing in the rings, two of the three bodies did mesh now so we're just down to one body that has a problem and uh, if we uh, look at the messages uh, we can see the error message 
uh, adjust the mesh size or adjust the geometry. So if you right click on that, show problematic geometry, it zooms in on an area and here we see where to go looking for more information. So uh, here it is. It's this face here and um, that's interesting. Uh, let's highlight that again. It's that face there. So that's a face on the inside. So it's again another example of a hidden geometry that is underneath the surface that you can't really see that is messing things up. So uh, let's go back to space claim and see if we can find that. And that geometry is on the um, negative x side of the uh, of this piece. So here is um, space claim, and here is that piece. We'll turn off the other pieces, and there's the negative x side, and. Uh, it was inside here, I think. So what we'll see, if probably if we go to wireframe mode, display wireframe, that, uh, yeah, there are hidden surfaces inside the solid that need to be deleted that are causing problems. So those surfaces right there, let's square it up. And uh, those surfaces right there, uh, we might be lucky to grab those surfaces, um, or maybe not so lucky. Uh, they're going to be difficult to to find, but uh, that's the kind of mess this geometry is. And uh, let's see if we can go back to shaded mode. Maybe we'll pull a, um, a plane here. Or maybe it's, is it an extension of that face there? It's probably, probably like there. So if we, on the design side, uh, if we pick that face, make a plane. And uh, if we go into 2D mode here, <coughs> Yeah, there's, there's uh, the remnants of that uh, face. If we look from the other side, that's that's the, the mess that's on the inside of this solid body. So uh, that's why it won't mesh because of that type of uh, mess on the inside. So don't build geometry like that. That's my advice. Uh, you need to learn methods to build clean geometry, and this is very, what's called dirty geometry. So uh, it's gonna be quite hard to repair that. And I don't think it, well, the delete key actually did some repair. So that is good. Let's see if that's enough. We can, um, there's a surface now we can delete that we don't need anymore. Uh, Let's go back to 3D mode and we don't need that plane. Let's bring this geometry in and see if it meshes. So I'll uh, go back to here and right click and say update from source and it'll pull it in from there. And that's the only part that uh, needed work on and uh, it seems that it's found let's hide this a couple of hide hide that body hide that body it's telling us there's three bodies now one two three hide that body Hide that body. Hide that body. Uh, 
I will give, give it an assignment. They all get this structural steel. Hide that body. Show these new bodies. Ah, uh, so these these are just garbage. So we're going to suppress suppress those bodies. Show all bodies, and now mesh. And if we're lucky, we will have uh, meshed everything. Yep, there we go. So uh, the lesson here is build clean geometry. That'll be the end. Thank you. Bye.